Ratios and Proportions, Part 4. Hi, I'm Dan and Souza, and welcome to Aptitude Academy. This is Part 4 on the lecture on Ratio and Proportions. Here's your first sum. Problem 1. A sum of money is to be distributed among A, B, C and D in the proportion 5 is to 2 is to 4 is to 3. If C gets rupees 1000 more than D, what is B's share? Alright, now problem 1, they've said that a sum of money is distributed among A, B, C and D in the ratio 5 is to 2 is to 4 is to 3. They also say that C gets 1000 rupees more than D, so what is the share of B? Now, if you remember my first lecture, I gave an example of a gold disc and you made parts and pieces into it and then you gave each person depending upon what is the ratio. So to solve the sum you need to think in those terms. So we can write this as 5x is to 2x is to 4x is to 3x. Now the main statement here is this. C gets 1000 rupees more than D. So you know that the ratio of C is to D is 4x is to 3x or you can write it as x plus 3x is to x uh, is to 3x right i just broke it down 4x as x plus 3x so you know c gets 1000 rupees more than d so what they're saying is c and d get same but c gets 1000 rupees more right so c and d same so this is c this is d right so 3x 3x is same so that is a common and the extra amount is 1000 rupees so this is what you need to deduce from this statement that x is 1000 rupees. Now you know x, so what is b share is 2x. So in place b gets 2x, that is 2 into 1000, that is 2000 rupees. Problem 2. An alloy is to contain copper and zinc in the ratio 9 is to 4. The zinc required to be melted with 24 kgs of copper is. Alright, now for the second problem, they've said that there's an alloy of copper and zinc and in the alloy, copper and zinc has to be mixed in the ratio of 9 is to 4. Now, they've asked you how much zinc is to be melted if the amount of copper is 24 kgs. Now, usually you could do this as 9x is to 4x, right? Then you know 9x is 24 kgs, right? So x is equal to 24 by 9, then you will get x, then you know zinc is supposed to be 4x, so 4 into whatever this answer is, you multiply it here and that's how much zinc you need. Instead of that, we'll do the same method, but just do it in one step. We know that 9 means 24. So what does 4 mean? So simply do a cross multiplication. 9 implies 24. So 4 implies x. We don't know x. So just cross multiply this and you'll get your answer. So x into 9 is equal to 24 into 4. That is x is equal to 24 into 4 by 9. So 3 threes are 3 eights are, 8 fours are 32 over 3. So 32 over 3 is 10.66 6 or it's equal to 10 2 over 3 kgs. See your final answer. Problem 3. In a school, 10% of the boys are the same as one fourth of the girls. What is the ratio of the boys to the girls in that school? Alright, now in the third sum, they've said that 10% of the boys in the class make up one fourth of the number of girls in the class. And they've asked you to find out what is the ratio of the boys to girls. Now, the main thing here is how you deduce information from this statement. So, if you want to calculate the ratio, what will you do? Boys is to girls. Right? You will, you will count the number of boys, number of girls, put them here and simplify the ratio. Right? So, you want 100% of the boys. is to 100% of the girls. Basically what I'm saying is you want all the boys and all the girls and then you can form your correct ratio, right? So you've got this. But now you don't know what is the number. So what we'll do is using this information, we will get the number of girls in terms of the number of boys. Then boys and boys you can cancel off and then you just have numbers remaining. So now we've got this, right? So let's just erase this and calculate. So now you say that 10% of the boys is equal to one fourth the number of girls. What is one fourth? 25%. So you'll say 25% of the girls. Now I want to know what are 100% of the girls. So I'll multiply this ratio by 4. If I multiply here by 4, I have to multiply this fellow also by 4. So I'll multiply this also by 4. So 10 into 4 is 40. 
So 40% of boys is equal to 100% of girls. Right? 25 into 4 is 100%. So now we've got 40% of boys is equal to 100% of girls. That's all you need to do. So now when you write boy is to girl ratio, right? 100% of boys is to 100% of girls. We know 100% of boys remain same. But 100% of girls is in fact equal to 10 into 4, 40% of boys. So now since you're seeing percentage of the same quantity, you can just eliminate it out. So the remaining answer left is 100% is to 40%. Since they're both percentage of the same quantity, you can just remove the percentage sign as well. So you're left with 100 is to 40. Cancel, cancel. 10 is to 4, to 2 za, to 5 za. Implies the answer is B is to G is equal to 5 is to 2. This is the ratio of the boys and the girls. All right, so this is part four in the lecture on ratio and proportions. If you found this video helpful, do like it, subscribe to my channel and tell your friends about it. I'd also appreciate it if you repost this on Facebook and help me reach out to as many students as possible. Cheers. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button to get notification of any videos that I release. I make new videos every Thursday. Until then, spread the knowledge.